Fishing News is brought to you by Navionics, Okuma, Yozuri, Evinrude, Lama Glass, and the Star Island Yacht Club in Montauk, New York. Now, if I'm not mistaken, the days are getting a little bit longer. At the very least, I know that the sun is starting to set just a little bit later. I'm Jim Hutchinson with the New Jersey Delaware Bay edition of the Fisherman Magazine the second week in January 2020. Been pretty mild of late, but we do have some uh, colder weather in the forecast. You should expect it. It is January. But also in the forecast, I know the party and charter boats, they're sailing regularly. Tog, Ling, Cod, a few porgies, especially towards the north. By shore, stripers out front, a few stragglers still in there. And of course, it's all about the spinies in back. White perch, it's best action going right now. Egg Harbor, Mullica, or Bass River. Getting word of the Toms River. Some folks in Forkhead River maybe think Oyster Creek. We also did that North Jersey show, the Garden State Outdoor Sports Show over the weekend. Found out some spots on the rare, maybe up around Sayerville, or the docks at Slack Water in Edison. And my friend Dave Roche fishes down south, some of the branches off the, uh, off the Mullica. He's been hitting them hard this season, moving around, finding different holes where they're working. He's on a tin boat. Some folks in a tin boat, the kayak, but you can find them by shore as well. Think light, ultra light tackle, worms, killies, grass shrimp. If you prefer casting, maybe look at the small twister tails on small jig heads, 1 16th to 3 16th ounce jig heads. Do a little bit of prospecting from shore for some of these bulkheads along the rivers. Now on his Facebook page, David Absecan Bay Sportsman Center, he has a simple high-low two-hook recommendation. Very nifty, very easy to tie, very easy to pick up, cast out, let it dead stick. Dave has grass shrimp, sometimes some bloodworms as well. I spoke with Dennis at Hook House Bait and Tackle this week. In fact, he had a flat of blood worms coming in, I think, Tuesday or Wednesday. Some of them were already reserved. And he did say that there are perch to be had, some jumbos on the Toms River, even recommended half dozen of them. Would be great for you and, uh, and the wife. Six nice fish makes one terrific meal. Now remember, in with some of those white perch are also striped bass, but you're not allowed to target striped bass on these rivers in back bays in New Jersey in January or February. So if you do catch one, make sure you release it as quickly as possible. Don't spend too much time holding it, getting your photo taken with it, and certainly don't take it too far away from the piece of water where you're fishing. For COs, it's a very fine line between release and retention. Now in New York, it's a little bit different. I'm not able to find this documented online, but I did check with our Long Island editor, Fred Golifaro, who got this word from one of the COs up there Quote, during the closed season, this is in New York, catch and release by angling is permitted for striped bass. That's New York, not in New Jersey. Make sure you are warned. There are some stragglers and some resident schoolies out front along the open beaches, especially Northern Ocean County, Southern Monmouth County as well. These can be targeted throughout the year, but right now think small, small baits, dawn and dusk especially, tins, swim shads, small mag darters, Joe Romeo, he shared this photo with the Betty and Nick's crew Friday morning in Bayhead, one of my home stretches, on a Daiwa SP minnow. Not a bad sized fish either. Bob Matthews from Fisherman's Den in Belmar, he said, quote, we are still getting reports of small stripers on the beach. The numbers are down, but still a viable fishery. So that's good news, especially when the weather allows and you can get out there. Bob also said that the uh, for hire fleet sailing out of Belmar has been consistently putting together good catches of tog and some very impressive fish coming over the rails. Keep that in mind. You've got some boats sailing out of Neptune and Belmar. The Jamaica 2 and other boats out of Manasquan Inlet also hitting them hard. Uh, tog and cod on these combo trips. Whatever's hanging around down there. I know the Dauntless is looking for some of those ling and some of these boats are getting in onto some porgies as well. Some tasty bottom dwellers out there if you want to give it a shot. Personally, my plan for the weekend is a different tasty fish of the freshwater variety. I'm giving a shot at walleye this Saturday, fishing with my buddy George, the Pocono Outdoors guy. Well, hey, Jim, thanks. You know, it's hard to believe only a few days ago we were sitting there basking in 60-degree temperatures. Well, the weather this week looks like it's going to turn a little more seasonable. Uh, guys have been out getting fish, though. Uh, here's a Jeremy Cruz out fishing some of these PA streams, 
getting into some beautiful brown trout. And that's not all. Our favorite New Jersey angler, Ken Beam, was out getting his first bass of the season, hitting that kayak. Great job, Ken. And by the way, happy birthday. But guys, there's a lot of stuff going on. I say we're going to start building some new ice, so, so keep an eye on that and be sure to be safe. Uh, the weather this weekend, they're calling for some snow, so you can surely get out on some of these lakes yet. But just be careful. If you're looking for some ice, be sure to check that thickness. Be sure we've got four inches before we head out, okay? Be safe. Get out. Get on them. From Pennsylvania, I'm George, your Pocono Outdoors guy. Uh, George and I had a good weekend. Great time working together at the Garden State Outdoor Sports Show in Edison this weekend. Met some hardcore anglers and regular viewers like Ryan and Pedro here. Gents, I expect to see some good things out of you in 2020. Keep us updated with what you're catching. We do have plenty of additional shows coming up too for this winter show season. I know John DeBona from the Fisherman Magazine will be out in Warminster, PA this Saturday for the DelVal Surf Anglers Flea Market. That's from 9 till 2 at the VE German Club. Make sure you check out that show. You've also got the Lacey Township High School 11th Annual Fisherman's Flea Market from 9 to 2 at the high school. That's this Saturday, a great event to help support that great fishing club there in Lacey. Now, talking to people at some of these shows, we don't have any updated information for 2020 saltwater regulations. I know the New Jersey Striped Bass Advisory Committee is expected to review the striped bass options returned from the ASMFC. They're ready to look at that. They've just got to schedule that um, at some point, sometime this month, I guess. But there was no quorum last Thursday at the New Jersey Marine Fisheries Council meeting. Big thanks to Governor Murphy for leaving some of those seats unfilled. Hopefully that gets done sometime soon. But we can expect to have some type of emergency meeting in February to just talk about striped bass for 2020, maybe even find out a little bit more about what can be done with bluefish from a conservation equivalency approach. So stay tuned here and also take a look at thefisherman.com for updated news and information. Now right now on Governor Murphy's desk is a new piece of legislation that was approved in the Assembly on Monday got merged with a Senate bill, so that is just waiting for signature. It would make beach buggy permit fees exempted. For those of you, you veterans, disabled veterans will not have to pay. That's both Island Beach, State Park, all the State Park, and also municipal uh, beaches. So if you're waiting to get your beach buggy permit, you disabled veterans might want to wait just a little while longer until Governor Murphy gets around to signing that. If you are looking to get out of the house, that's one good idea. Head down and get some of your beach buggy passes. Go to Island Beach, get your permit. Also pick up some uh, freshwater uh, regulations, your, your license, your trout stamp. Now's the time to get that done. And also if you are fishing for perch or going out front for striped bass, make sure you get that free registry updated. That's saltwaterregistry.nj.gov. Now if you happen to be looking around for a new slip for the 2020 season, up on the Raritan, you might want to give the Municipal Marina at Carteret a shot. You've got good access to both the Raritan and stretches along the Hudson River. You can give them a shout at 732-541-3820, extension 3110. It is a mild week this week, but we are expected to get some winter temperatures back again, but there's still plenty of opportunity for you to score in the weekend ahead. So enjoy it, catch them up, and we'll see you again next week right here at thefisherman.com.